My name is Paul Schonenberg, and I'm pleased to be here today to talk to you for just a couple of minutes about a few questions that have been raised regarding the AmCham initiative to keep Luxembourg strong so that, and to ensure that Luxembourg remains the best place in Europe for international companies to be located. In truth, with the letter that we published and uh, that sent to the Prime Minister and the survey that um, we have asked people to uh, go ahead and respond to and the initiative we've had to ask people to go ahead and sign a petition, we have had two categories of questions that have been raised. So I'd like to address those two points today. The first category is people saying, well, you know, we've gone through downturns before in the past and we've recovered from them, so the best thing to do is to stay the course, not make any changes and just muddle on through. The second category of questions is people have seen what we've already published and they've said, oh, now you've said that um, uh, entry level and lower level salaries in Luxembourg are 25% higher than in other locations and that something needs to be done about that. And they're afraid that our approach will be to go ahead and to try and lower salaries within Luxembourg and they're personally afraid about that. Well, I'd like to address both of those issues. Regarding the first issue about let's see if we can just meddle on through and go ahead and um, get back to prosperity by not changing anything and just weathering the storm, I need to tell you we honestly don't think that that's going to work. The world is becoming more and more competitive and we don't want Luxembourg to develop the same kinds of problems that currently exist in Italy, Spain, Portugal, Greece, other countries like that. We want Luxembourg to stay strong and economically competitive. But we believe we're going to have to make some changes to ensure that that takes place. Right now, the trends are not positive. The Luxembourg government has an annual increase in debt of a billion dollars a year. And there are structural things which need to be done to go ahead and ensure that this is an attractive place for international companies to be located. So we have a bias for action. We want to do things, and we want to do things now. And the thing is, if you take actions when actions are needed, and you don't wait too long, the cost of taking those actions is lower than if you wait. So our approach is, we don't want Luxembourg to have the same kind of problems of Cyprus, of Greece, of Italy, of Spain, of Portugal, and the time to make sure that that doesn't happen is by making smaller changes now so that we can get ourselves in the right position to ensure the future attractiveness of Luxembourg stays as it is now and that we continue to have good prosperity, good employment, and a good way of life for all the citizens of Luxembourg. Now, with regards to the other issue, uh, where some people have said, um, uh, oh gosh, um, you're concerned about the high cost of uh, entry level and lower salaries and what kind of impact would that have on me? The truth of the matter is, is that the employees in Luxembourg are productive, and they do work hard, and they have language skills and other skills which are not readily found to the same degree in other places. So we believe that the people who are working, by and large, are doing fine. However, we're concerned about entry-level jobs, and entry-level and lower-skilled jobs going away, not mid-level career jobs and not higher-level jobs. For the mid-level career jobs and for the higher-level jobs, we actually don't have enough people in Luxembourg to go ahead and do all of the work that needs to be done. So the market will keep those salary scales and those benefit scales appropriately. But the risk is that at the lower end of the spectrum, the jobs could leave Luxembourg, and if they leave Luxembourg, it will be hard to get them back. And if those jobs leave Luxembourg, then it will be hard for children who leave school to go ahead and get their first career job, or for women returning to the workforce to go ahead and to enter into a good career progression pattern. And we think that that will cause societal problems and we want to avoid it. Now the question is, you say, well, how are you gonna go ahead and avoid that without dealing with the issue of the cost of the jobs and people getting lower salaries? And to be honest, our approach is a little bit different. We understand that um, Luxembourg is a high cost of living area. We understand that people need to be treated with dignity and to have the opportunity to live a decent life and to be appropriately supported. But what we want to do is we want to engage with the government, make sure that they realize the nature of the problem, and to encourage them to provide, through taxing policies, incentives to companies to go ahead and keep entry-level and lower-level jobs here in Luxembourg, rather than moving them to simpler and to cheaper locations. 
We believe that that's doable, and quite honestly, it will be less expensive for the government to provide taxing incentives to private companies to go ahead and keep those categories of jobs here than it is to pay unemployment benefits and social charge benefits to people who are without employment. So we believe that this is doable, that it's cost effective, and again, our approach is to engage with the government to make sure that we keep all the jobs from the lowest to the highest that companies have here in Luxembourg rather than the lower level jobs going ahead and moving out. I'd like to make the last point that I don't hope that this doesn't come across as being negative. Because again, our fundamental position is, is that Luxembourg is the best place in Europe for international companies to have their headquarters. It's just that we're smart people, we're trying to stay ahead of the power curve, and we're trying to fix small problems now to ensure that Luxembourg keeps that competitive edge, keeps that position of being best location in Europe, and that we all continue then to have uh, a good life, a prosperous life, both the companies and private employees and individuals here in Luxembourg, both now and for the future. I ask you to join our petition. I ask you to join us and give us your support. And if you have any other questions, please contact us, and we'll be glad to get back with you and give you good, solid, straight answers. Thank you very much.